hope. This is the first time we recorded together in a while. Yeah, uh, the last one we did was um, with the Nightmare Shop. Yeah, we got to get them on again one of these days soon, hopefully. But, um, yeah, we're recording. <laughs> I'm sharing this link out, the live link. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Candyman. The original Candyman, as you guys can see behind me. Or this, this. I like that. That's dope. Thank you. I just put... Excuse me. I just put two pictures next to each other. You know what I mean? Yeah, With yeah, um, one of those is, apps. Is that the uh, the uh, Fright Rags shirt? Right here? No, no, no. The Candyman design. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I just went to Google and found two pictures, two cool pictures. There is either that or the Scream Factory DVD. It might be the DVD cover. This, Yeah, it might be the DVD. The slip cover. I like this vape so much better than the one I dropped in the toilet. I hope you don't do that again. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you could you could download an app and like see how many hits you've taken and <laughs> all hey. kinds of shit. <laughs> I don't really see the point of that, but well, some people want to say, "Oh yeah, man, look, I can take six hundred hits from this thing." They can't watch, and they prove that they do it. That's why they eat a big ass bag of chips. <laughs> Yo, speaking of chips, Voodoo Chips, not a sponsor. Voodoo? Voodoo. They're good chips. I oh. believe you. Right. Thank you. Niggas don't play when chips. Chips are involved. No, nah, we try not to. <clears throat> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start watching it. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I already have it on playing. I had it on since I went doo doo. What part are you at? The part where Helena was Helen or Helena? I forgot her damn name. I just watched this fucking movie. Where there her and her friend are in the apartment the her apartment and she pushes the window out the mirror out, sorry. Oh yeah, yeah. They look into the apartment next door. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some nosy ass shit right there. Mm-hmm. I mean, right, I mean, right off the bat, just with the opening sequence, the, the score for this movie just takes it to a whole nother level. I Yo, I agree with you one million freaking percent on that. Like, the score is, it's so out, of, it's really out, like, out of this world. You know what I mean? I hope it, it's, they, uh, I hope it's in the, the new one in some way. Me too. I feel like it has to be. Even if really it's like, like it has to be for the ending credits or like the implied, you know, they use it, they use it somehow. Yeah, I remember just, just the, the commercial for this movie used to scare me. Really? Really? Yeah. I remember the commercial? I do. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, it's just the concept of like, you know, especially as a kid, not knowing, you know, anything about it. And the fact that it's it's a guy with a hook for a hand that comes out of the mirror and kills you. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm over here, here sweating, taking a shit, like, you know? Mm -hmm. Did you really just act out taking a dump? I did, yeah, as I, a child. Okay. I was gonna, I, I know what that means. Like, I understand what pooping is. Oh, we were what? Seven? We were seven when this movie came out. It's a year older than Rylan. Mm hmm. Hell no. Homegirl oh. with the small ass titties. Why is she even wearing a bra? You know. Wearing bras for support? Well, moral, <laughs> maybe moral support. Right on. You know who that is, right? The dude the um, in the opening scene? The, the jacket? The other jacket? Talking to the blonde? Who was it? And Sam Raimi's brother. Oh, um... The other rain. Oh, what the fuck is his name? Ted. Yeah. Nigga, you know I'm horrible with people's names. Yeah, I know. It's all right. Barely even know your name half the time. I, 
I'm surprised when you call me Henry. It's fucking weird. <laughs> I'll try not to do that anymore. That's like an insult. That's yeah, cool. I, I do pretty much call you everything but your name. Yeah. I even make up shit. <clears throat> the, uh, so the, the, the one scene in the, the Candyman trailer mm-hmm. the new, with all the girls in the bathroom, mm-hmm. I'm thinking that's going to be the opening sequence. Just like how the opening sequence is like someone telling the story of how those girls died. Yeah. How the opening sequence for this one is, you know, uh, the, the girl talking about the story she heard about Candyman. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Actually, I can definitely see that. I just, I just can't wait to see how they utilize Helen, because she was never even brought up again in any of the other movies besides the first one. Mm-hmm. And she's in the trailer. Yeah, I know, I know. They're, they'll, I think they'll find a good way to put her in it, though. Like they won't just, it won't be something stupid. I think she's going to warn Anthony. I try and try and help him somehow because she. Well, what you know? What the rumor mill is that um, the main character is the baby from the first one. Mm-hmm. You know the baby at the very end that he tries to sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think she's going to try and save him again. But I don't think I, it's going to. He's going to what? I don't think it's going to work out. You don't think it's gonna work out? No. Yo, you know what you know what I just did? Now, as you guys know, to the listeners and you, Henry, because you're sitting right here, I have a green screen behind me, right? So the picture here that you guys see, it looks awesome. My dumbass, because you see the hook right here? Well shit, this side I got it. His hook kind of part of it. I know I'm blocking most of it. But I went to go. I looked. I went to turn around and look back at it. <laughs> it's just green. I was like, "Oh shit, I forgot." Damn, I am a victim. <sighs> and I, uh, yeah. <coughs> but yeah, this game movie came out in '92. Yeah, you could tell her husband. He was a fucking cornball from the get. Oh hell yeah. How far? You know what? How far are you in the movie? I'll rewind back to where you're at because I'm way ahead of you. I'm like, I'm like oh, Jesus Christ! Hold on. I gotta reach on the floor. What the fuck? A fire stick. Whoa. Let's see. Seven minutes and thirty-eight seconds. Seven thirty-eight. Hang on. Let me get there. All right. Uh, I'll be seven forty. Go ahead. It's only like two minutes. Yeah, I'm at seven forty-one now. All right, that's what that works. That works. He's yeah, you, can't, you can't trust a dude with that hairline. So what's he supposed to do? Get a baldy then, or wear a hat? Wear a hat at least. If he wants to be trustworthy. Oh, look at Michael. <laughs> what kind? Of, what kind of hat would he wear though? We're talking oh. about Helena's husband, Helen. Helen. Why do you keep saying Helena and Helena? I'm always making names up. Um, Helen, Helen. It's like Ellen oh, with A. Okay, go ahead. I'm done singing. No, what are you saying? I'm done singing. No, I said he would definitely wear one of those old school uh, taxi driver hats. Ah, yeah. With the little lip right here. Yep, with the button. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Pause. I can see that. I can see that. But yeah, you were right about the score for this movie. What you were saying earlier. Oh yeah. I didn't know. I forgot how awesome. I, I won't say I didn't know. I forgot how fucking cool it was until I was watching the movie today and heard it. And I was like, wow. Changes the whole tone. Or not changes, but it just it just adds to, to like that the whole atmosphere of the movie. It's perfect. Yeah, it's like I can literally say it's it's perfect for this freaking movie. It's like sad, <laughs> almost. like if that makes any I mean, sense. It does. It does. Be- 
it's like tragic, like a tragedy is going to happen. A tragedy happened and more of a tragedy is going to happen. Yeah, especially the part uh, at the end after Helen break or Candyman helps Helen break out of the um, the the mental institution, mm-hmm. and then she goes home. Which obviously we're we're a ways away from that, but oh yeah, when she goes home and then find you know finds her husband cheating on her with the girl with the fucking pointy ass nipples, and she's she's standing over the bridge just wearing those scrubs that she stole from the nurse. Mm-hmm. And she's like her ass off, like she's fucked. She has nowhere to go. Like she, her, the one person she had. And he, yep. I like how you pointed out the nipples. I was, I was gonna point that out because again, I just watched the movie earlier. But I was like, you know what? Let me see if Henry points it out. And you did. I'm happy you did. It must have been really cold in that apartment. <laughs> or or she put ice cubes on she, nipples before the scene. That, or she was hiding peanut M and M's in her in her shirt. <laughs> hey. Probably trying to steal him, damn thief. Yeah, sure, he stole a husband. <laughs> if, she's, if she'll steal somebody's husband, she's going to steal some peanut M&M's, and you just can't trust the person that's going to steal peanut M&M's or right. husbands. You, you, know, you know what's crazy about this movie is we don't even see Candyman for like the first 40 minutes. You're right. You know, and you know, it doesn't like... It doesn't even bother you about it, though, because the build-up for it, I know it's kind of a slow burn, the build-up for it, but it works for this. Like every, not every horror movie can kind of pull that off. Yeah, I mean, her first encounter with him, she afterwards she wakes up in a pool of blood. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like every every uh, person that he kills, someone else gets blamed for it. But it was the dog. It was the dog that was killed. It wasn't the baby. Yep. 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 <laughs> The Rottweiler. Mm-hmm. Cut his fucking head off with a meat cleaver. But I don't like that nigga's haircut or his jacket. I do like Kane, like, you know. What's wrong with his, what's wrong with his edge? Yeah, I, High I, time I, fade? I, I don't It just, I don't know. Maybe it's just the movie, but I didn't like, I wasn't feeling either. He should be yeah. that edge up dance. He got his haircut where Diddy got his haircut for that uh, Black Rab video. Whoa. That's what he should have did. He's dancing on the truck. Mm-hmm. Even though that, that's way after this, but still, he knew. Twenty-one deaths. That's a lot. Niece of death. What killed Ruthie Jean? No, it's not what. It's who. Uh, who killed Ruthie Jean? Ruthie Jean. Ruthie Jean's not my lover. Um. Oh, there. She's in that library with that newspaper article-looking thing. That's right, Ryan. That is showing the park now, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's that piano. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I, I fucking love that. I wish I could play the damn piano. The, the what? The piano? Yeah, you know what I meant. Piano. <laughs> piano. So, I'm going to let you guys know what we were talking about earlier. It had nothing... It, Kind of had something to do with this movie, but it was R. Kelly. <laughs> P, my victim. Yep, P, my victim. You say R. Kelly in the mirror five times with the lights off, your toilet's going to back up. Yep. Instead of bees flying around, it's going to be a piss mist. <laughs> so you guys don't do that because you don't want that like to happen to you. One, that one um, character. And, in it's only going to happen to children. So if you're an adult, nothing's gonna, he's just going to go after a child. So don't do that, adults. And children don't do it either. Huh? I said 15-year-old girls mostly, or exclusively. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but a uh, dude on the boondock said, uh, people should help R. Kelly by introducing him to some older women. <laughs> it's a little too late now. Step in the name of love. That's such a nice, not the song. The the view in this movie, like where they're looking at this window right now, that's a nice view. It is. Considering it's like the project. No, that's not the projects. No, she's on the other side. The projects, the train tracks separate the projects from. That's right. But that used to be a project building where uh, Helen's at now. Yeah, and um, you could tell it was the 90s because no girl has ass. Yeah. Even the-, the chocolate chick. Uh huh. 
And the, the, you could, I mean, you could tell by just the, yeah, you're right. The no ass, the way they drew everything. You know, they got massive bushes. Oh God. I thought that was like the seventies. Uh, I, th- I think, I think it hung around. I don't know, like, <laughs> More ways than one. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, her friend there, she, she is a director. She's directed a few movies. What's she being... Horror related or just, uh, I, don't, I don't think so. Oh, she needs to get in the horror scene. Bernadette. Yeah, Bernadette. Bernadette. Right. It's kind of crazy, though. You know, this part right here, we're watching the part where they take the mirror out of the movie, or out of the movie, out of the wall. I'm sure it was like that back in the day. That's, like, so... Ghetto. Un- <laughs> like- yeah. But, I mean, think about it. It's somebody that has money that's building something it's, in the projects, building a building, a apartment right. complex. Corona. Just listen, corona. And they don't care. You know what I mean? They just want their money. Yeah, of course. Or maybe it's a government owned building. I don't know how that shit went, but I'm sure those mirrors were like that. They had, well, they didn't have to have been, but I'm sure they were. Yeah. And you know, this movie was based on a, um, so a short story. A short story? Did it? Was it really? Yeah, yeah. By uh, Clive Parker. It's called The Forbidden. Ah, I'm going to have to look that up. Yeah. Did you read it? I did not. I do have one of the books of blood, but it doesn't have that one. It has Midnight Me Train. I've oh. seen that movie. On um, Netflix, Midnight Me Train. You yeah. see it? I read the story, yeah. I know, I didn't see it though. No, it's pretty good. The movie, well, I'm sure the book's probably better, but the movie's pretty good. Yeah, it ends up being there's like people that live like um, on the underground in New York City, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Something like that. I forgot, but yeah. They're on a train. Yeah, and then after the last stop. Oh, like shit. This is like the OJ thing, it's just in a different color vehicle. No cops buying it. The same view, though. Two years later. Oh, shit. That's a crazy connection because OJ fucking killed some people. He did? Oh, shit. What if OJ's candy, man? They just have Tony Todd doing the voice, but OJ's the real candy, man. <laughs> He's the juice, man. In go, juices. Go, in the, go, go ahead and go in your bathroom, turn the light off, and say OJ Simpson's name five times. Oh, there's two white women in this house. <laughs> They're not safe. I'll right. be all right. That's true. You might just steal one of my t-shirts or something. What the hell is he going to do with your t-shirt? <laughs> How do you think they'll be able to fit it? Yeah, of all true. things, he's going to steal your t-shirt? <laughs> I got more. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that really He's going to steal my t-shirt. Like, of all things he could do, he's going to steal a t-shirt from you. <laughs> My bedroom is closest to the bathroom. Oh, man. Why wouldn't he steal your PlayStation or your TV? It's too or heavy. Your tablet. Your tablet. It's a, it's a tablet. He is old, though. He but is black. He is. Yeah, the uh, the Cabrini Green Projects, that was a real place. Mm-hmm. The... <laughs> It got torn down <laughs> at some point. Oh yeah, it had to. It's terrible, <laughs> rough. Came out. You know what I like about this movie, though, as you know. Niggas in the front. Niggas in the front. No, not them. <coughs> there ain't no light skins in this movie. How does it make you feel? She's she's close. Bernadette's. She's a couple shades away from uh, being on my team. Yeah, but she's medium like me, so, you know. It was Reggie and Peck smoking a cigarette. <laughs> but no, what I was going to say is, I mean, there is there is parts where I laugh in this movie. As a matter of fact, it's the part where <laughs> I'm Candyman, bitch. No, 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 no. The line is, I heard you looking for Candyman, bitch. That's what it is. I heard you looking for Candyman, bitch. I was thinking that I'm a juggernaut, bitch. Sorry. Her eye socket up. He didn't have to do that. No, that's not the part that I was laughing at. It was the part where they had the the police line up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 
only thing that was missing is you at like seven years old walking up. Heard you looking for Candyman, bitch. <laughs> oh, I'm in trouble. Yeah, how funny would it be instead of hitting her with the hook, he like listed his like a <laughs> foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's that's some riding candy right there, yo. <laughs> this guy said lifted his leg up and farted. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit, that was funny. Oh my god, that was funny. Like her looking for candy man. <laughs> Oh shit! Fuck. Well, yeah, the whole scene. That I, I hope that uh, the little kid Jake. Mhm. I hope he's in the next movie somehow. E- even even if it's just like uh, not even a. He had he had a pretty big part in this one. He did. He did. He did. Oh. Kind of looked like a young Styles P as a kid. <laughs> Styles, is playing. Styles isn't playing. We're about the same complexion. I'll do it. I can do it. Even though the movie's already done. So I, I, I had watched a video where someone said they saw the screening for the movie. Mm-hmm. And I was listening to what he was saying. And I'm like, mm, some of this I like, some of this I don't. But then I looked at the date. He, I'm not, unless you want me to tell you what he, he was saying, um, some of the stuff he said didn't add up after the trailer came out. Okay. Because he, he said that Helen wasn't, was talked about in the movie, but you never see her. I'm like, well, boom, there she is right there in the trailer. So I really can't take anything else he says seriously. How would you feel if she wasn't in the movie, though? Like, say if she was, you know, remember how back in the days, how some trailers they would have, you, they'd have the trailer, but then you go to watch the movie, and none of that's in the movie. Yeah. Are you crying? Nah, my allergies. <laughs> nah, I'd be pissed. Yeah. But she wasn't in part two or part three. She wasn't. She wasn't mentioned. Nothing. There was no no reference at all. Like each movie is independent of itself. Yeah, yeah. But like, right, so it's pretty much three standalones. Yeah, basically, yeah. But I, th- I feel like Jordan Peele's movie is going to be more of a connection, like more of a connection to the first one. Sorry, the original. Well, yeah, I mean, even just having having the main character be the baby from the very from the first one, and uh, having Helen Lyle in it, because mm-hmm. uh, she's she's been cast like. It's this younger, obviously white chick. Um, yeah, she's so damn nosy though. Like my black ass would not be going in there. <clears throat> in the projects at that, fuck that. In my projects, and then you can go by yourself. I ain't going over there. Some things don't even like me. Last time I went over there, I got beat up. Yeah, I ain't going there again. I'm not going through. Look at that sink. Why is, why is the old dookie on the sink? Everywhere. Oh man, that, that toilet has to be bad. Yo, that's one of them places. You know how, like, when I got a shit, I got a shit. I don't know if I'd be able to shit in there. But then again, I guess it's one of them places where you could just drop trout and go. It wouldn't even matter where you went. Go in the corner. Go in the sink. But I mean, I don't <laughs> think there's any toilet paper in there. Hey, well, that's because of the crisis. You use the sock, just throw it against the wall. Like, I was going to say, I've done that before, minus throwing it against the wall. I have used a sock before. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're American. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> that's what makes me American? That'd be a dope tattoo, wouldn't it? The can't, yeah, with the mouth open? Yeah. Get it, get it like, right over my nipple. So the nipple's <laughs> in his mouth. <laughs> If you guys don't know what he's talking about, uh, for those of you who have seen this movie, you know the part where Helen is going into the, what the hell do you call it, Candyman's lair, I guess? It's Candy Palace. (laughs) And you see the 
the mural of his face, mouth wide open. Yeah, that's what Henry's talking about. He's he's something else. I know. Oh, there's candy. There's right candy. See, that's just a waste of. First of I, all, nobody likes that jive ass candy, anyways. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that to anybody, not even an enemy. I'm not going to buy you something and then try to kill you or hurt you with it. Why am I going to fucking spend my money on that? I wouldn't even steal it to do that. Dude, the razor was bigger than the piece of candy it was in. Like, if you bit into that, didn't see that, you fucking deserve it. Yeah. Well, what if you're blind? <laughs> blind? How are you going to go trick or treat? You just end up walking into the fucking woods or some shit. <laughs> no, blind. What if the listen? What if the kid's blind and his parents take him trick or treating? They could take him anytime. He wouldn't know. <laughs> he could hear. You could lie to him. Oh man. Yo, I'd be, yo, I'd be fucked up being blind. I wouldn't. I wouldn't trust nobody. Not even me. You think I'd do something to make you walk in the shit? Yeah. yeah. All the time. Because you do it. You do it to me. Go into an elevator and I wouldn't realize it. I start freaking out, thinking the world's ending and shit. Y'all would just every anytime we go to the mall, we like, y'all just put you in the elevator, and just walk away for a little bit. Yo, watch this. Tink, tink, tink. Oh, I know what you're doing. <laughs> I wouldn't see now. Like I wouldn't be a total asshole. I wouldn't put you around steps. I wouldn't want to see you fall down the steps. Like if I want to see you fall down the stairs, you're gonna be doing that when you can see and you know brace yourself. <laughs> you're so funny. I'm not, not making this up either. Oh gosh. When when I did landscaping with Lee, way back when, mm-hmm. uh, there was this cute blind chick that uh, she went to the bus stop on Madison. I don't know if I like where this is going. <laughs> right, and uh, I wave. <laughs> you wave. I waved to her once and said hi. <laughs> oh my god, you're an asshole! Oh my god, I felt so stupid. I'm like, <laughs> you weren't doing it on purpose to be an asshole either. You were just doing it because I would. I like. I was just was like being like, "Hey, how you doing? You know, good morning." <laughs> but she heard me. But obviously, she didn't see me waving. <laughs> well, how's she gonna see you waving if she's blocking? <laughs> That's what's so fucked up. That's like a deaf person trying to talk. You trying to talk to a deaf person. I, I had a deaf person train me when I worked at Bob Evans in Maryland. That's good. How'd it go? I swear to God, he was deaf. I went. I don't work there anymore. <laughs> oh, it didn't go too good. No, nah, I worked there for like a month. I quit because that shit was whack. He said, one glove. <laughs> <laughs> You're an asshole. Oh, shit. Did you hear that? What the fuck was that? I just realized this stupid thing has like a little sound. Well, it's not stupid. This little thing has like a little soundboard to it. So, people, I'm going to play these real quick so we can hear them all, and we're going to start discussing this movie some more. Don't worry. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm using these corny things. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's because people are excited. And this is the same. She plays the same. She's in the, the mom. The new one. Yeah, yeah, I remember her. She's in uh, the remake, the reimagined, the spiritual. Spiritual sequel. Thank you. People can call it's not a remake. Yeah, you're right. It's not a remake. And then you see this guy, the, the Michael with the long hair. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's in the sequel. <laughs> he dies like in the first five minutes. Good. I don't like him. Such a douche. Yeah. Pop <laughs> asshole. Speaking of, uh, since we are talking about this movie again. You know oh. where you go in the nineties. Every single one of them were smoking a cigarette in that I restaurant. Was, I said the same thing earlier today when me and Francis were watching it. I was like, they smoked. I was like, these movies, they smoked in like every freaking movie in this era. 
Mm-hmm. And I do. I am so happy that they can't smoke in restaurants anymore. That was so disgusting. And the funny thing was, the funny thing was, yo, like they're like, okay, well, you can just go to the smoking session section. Like, nigga, it's the whole. <laughs> you might just let him smoke in the whole damn place. Like what? The smoke hits that barrier. He's like, nope, I gotta go back. Yep. Yeah. That's how it works. But um, what the hell is I saying? Oh. The end of this movie, how, uh, fuck, I forget what the hell I was saying. Shit, I should have just what I was going to say with. For all the people that think this is based on an uh, urban legend or a true story, it's not. So what's it based on, then? Short story. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we went over this. No, no, because I, I remember seeing, like, I mean, you got people that think Nightmare on Elm Street was based on a true story. Like, no, fuck out of here. Goddamn fucking dream demon, you dick. Damn, nigga, relax. <laughs> Gee, just breathe, woosa. Getting all angry and agitated, aggravated. You good? Yeah, all right. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, there was something about this movie I wanted to say that happens at the end or towards the end, and I completely forgot. The uh, fact that. It always sounds like he's busting a nut when he kills somebody. Hey, man, that's that's how he gets off. He stabs him with the hooks. Like, Ugh. <laughs> yeah, that's the blood ripping. Same thing. Same difference. Yeah, this guy, man, he's such a fucking asshole. Michael should grow his hair out like that. He can't. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. It's an ash or cigarette before it falls in our fucking pasta salad. Oh, there you go. See, it's gone. Mm hmm. Fell in her pasta salad. But she, <laughs> like, her eyes are always, like. In a the, daze? Yeah. And how, like, it's always lighter around her, her eyes. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, yeah. That's, that's what I'm looking for. So. She, got that, uh, she got that jungle fever. Once she starts thinking about that chocolate, she won't know what to do with herself. She can't control herself. She can't control her emotions. Hearing about it, she's all. She can't control anything. Get her shaking. Then the opening sequence, they show what he's talking about in the sequel. <clears throat> I didn't describe his naked, but he could have just said naked body. Or like, the nigga wasn't wearing a shirt. The nigga wasn't it's wearing a shirt. The prone naked body. In part three, they say his his ashes were scattered somewhere else. They said it was somewhere down south. Like, no, nigga, the fuck it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, man. Oh, there's uh, Styles P as a kid. Just in case you guys didn't know, um, Styles played the little boy. What's his name again? Jake. He played Jake in Candyman. <laughs> The first colored kid named Jake. I've never even. Yeah, that's a that's a horror source thirty fact right there. Don't fact check us. <laughs> There's no niggas named Jake. <laughs> nah, not even Jake from State Farm. Mm, or the snake. Nope. He said, "I ain't scared of nothing, but you lost your mind coming here. Are you crazy for coming here or something like that?" Cause see, cause she's gonna be meeting Candyman soon, mm-hmm. and he doesn't, she doesn't meet him until um, he tries to prove she tries to prove that he's not real. He's like, "No, nah, bitch, I fucking exist." Yeah, yeah. See, it's I mean, it's their fault though. This nigga's Candyman mind his own business. You keep calling him and calling him, and calling him and calling him. You know, niggas get mad about that. Well, you find out why he doesn't like his name to be called in the mm-hmm. second one. You wanna know why? Yeah, you might. As well, yeah, we are going to do it eventually. But go ahead and say it. Yeah, they, they the uh, the people were chanting when they were chanting Candyman when uh when they poured the honey on him and the bees came in. He was dying. They were chanting Candyman. Ah, um, see, so that's why saying his name. <clears throat> yeah, I like. I really do like this movie. I got to watch it. This is something I got to start watching more. Put on my own watch list type thing, whatever you want to call it. Can't tell you how many times I've watched this movie. I fucking love it. But it's so it's and it's not like 
I'm trying to think. It's it's like it's a good it's a horror movie, but it has a story to it too. Like it has a good story to it. It's not just like a cut them up slash. And I love slashers, as you guys know. Yeah, I would even call this movie a slasher. What would I you mean, call it? Hard slasher, but it's. <sighs> It's it's a great story. Yeah, like, it is. Fuck, I, I don't know. It's not it's not a slash. It it has elements of a slasher, but mm-hmm. it's much more than that. With this such a layered story. Oh, here's my part. I heard you looking for Candyman, bitch. You see, he had to go you know, real bad. He was holding himself, you know. <laughs> Yo. That would be so fucking funny. <laughs> he did that. <laughs> Instead of hitting it with the hook, he just did it. <laughs> but you know what made that even funnier is the scene right after that where the, the you know, the line up. <laughs> I heard you look man, bitch, they all got a fart. <laughs> <laughs> all serious looking. <laughs> oh, here goes my I'm going to check up then. Oh man, I gotta calm down. There we go. Oh shit! I heard you look for Candyman, bitch. <laughs> this this movie, it's what was I saying about it? It's like it's like a slow burn in a sense, but it works. Like the story just kind of flows at the same time. Like you see shit happening here and there. Well, you yeah, you you hear about how how brutal he is, like you know, like the, with this scene here, and then uh, in in the newspaper clippings they show like yeah, people, you know, so you you hear about how brutal this guy is, then you finally meet him. Mm-hmm. I don't want to meet him. Uh, I want to meet Tony Todd, but I don't want to meet Candyman. Very, cause... very easy to not meet him. Just don't say his fucking name in the mirror five times. Yeah. Look, there's yeah. a. I ain't doing it. <laughs> I'm 35. Are you? Sir. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm gonna be 35. And I, I'm and I've never I've never said Candyman five times in a mirror in my whole life. Me either. I risk it, you know? Yeah. Spooky on the wall. This is sweets. Sweet. Hey, is that where Art got his idea from? His doo-doo art? I remember I asked him about it. He said shit happens. Yeah. I was like, why do you poop? I said, you could use something else. <laughs> shit does that. I mean, when you're doodling in the bathroom, you don't got a marker. You just doodle as a marker. Or i just rather use a booger. Well, that's you. No. <sighs> that, that's like doodle with peanuts in it, too. That's a lot of peanuts. That's a lot of shit. Yeah, it's like it's a shit on the wall. That's that's beautiful art right there. Though. That's, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. I respect the craft, you know? Yep, with that. Right there. Um, a spatula, like a spackling spatula, you know what I mean? <laughs> Please. And you know, for the listeners out there, Helen, the the woman who played Helen is allergic, really allergic to bees, so for the bees and somebody else had to... Huh? I didn't know that. Yeah, I believe somebody else had to come in for her. I think... Or, or they had um, it was either that or they had like medical staff on standby because she's, I believe she's like deathly allergic to bees. I'm not 100 percent sure, but it's deathly allergic. I know it's allergic though. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <sighs> See now that's a jacket. She a fake candy man. That's a jacket. That's when you, she knew she was in trouble. I just yeah. this thing got a hook. Here comes Aaron and Joseph. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Christian's in the back. Huh? Christian's in the back. Who's the nigga saying I heard you looking for Candyman, bitch? Zach? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. No, 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 matter of fact, that that's that's me holding her right there. <laughs> no, that's you with the hat. <laughs> with the white hat? That's my dad. With, that's my no. dad that's saying it. That's Zach over there standing there looking mad. Boom. Oh shit! They didn't have to do that. He didn't. Heard you look at the candy man, bitch. And these niggas just walk out of here laughing. I would have bounced if I was Jake. I would have been like, you know what? Nope. 
There goes Marcus. <laughs> oh, shit. I think this is the one that ruined. I think that's the one I started laughing hard. It's him. I was dying. <laughs> oh, man. Kelly, just imagine if you were next. His, his jacket had a turtleneck on it. Hey, man. That's, that's how they rolled back then. That's a broken eye socket. That's a, that's they found a, all six niggas in that state wearing, wearing leather jackets. <laughs> <laughs> but you, is their leather so soft? Another cigarette. I think so. Nah, probably not. That's pretty cold. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. 40 minutes in, that's like the sixth cigarette. <clears throat> Helen Lyle. So, my grandmother's name is in London. Obviously, my son's name is Lyle. Ah, I see what you did there. I did. You're a genius. You're a genius. I'm giving you that credit, even though it's probably your wife that did all that. But <laughs> whatever. <laughs> That's my response. See, he's he's scared now. What's this, Jake? She goes to the police. You don't do that in these type of neighborhoods. You don't go to the cops. No, oh, he's in trouble. First, he was hanging out with a white chick, and then, then he's at the police station. Yeah, trouble, trouble. Hey, listen. Uh, let's pause this for a minute. I gotta use I gotta use the bathroom. Hang on, you pause. All right, so now we're at the part where um. Candy made me tell him in the garage, and he has that ugly ass fucking jacket on that Henry seems to like so much. I don't know why. I bet you got that shit at the Goodwill. He probably did. Hey, uh, what? Where are you at time wise? I got to fast forward, man. Um, forty five fifteen. I just paused it at forty five fifteen. Forty five fifteen. If you can get to it, if not. Get to like whatever you can get to close to it. I'm for I can do forty five ten or forty five twenty. Forty five twenty. I love I love this. They were she was hypnotized for these scenes. Oh yeah, yeah. That yeah, I read about that. Hypnotized by that chocolate thunders, which she was hypnotized by. And she's crying. Yep. Isn't that how you uh, married your wife or whatever? Hypnotize her with that chocolate thunder? Mm -hmm. I told her to be my victim. Yep. Same thing here. Pull out the hook. I know you got a bunch of hooks. You just use a fishing hook. 45 minutes. Really? He showed up in the movie. <clears throat> you know, niggas is always late. He was on his <laughs> way. He was on his way. That's why it took so long. <laughs> it should be time. Yeah. This is Candyman time. Yeah, I'm on my way. I'm right around the corner. You didn't even leave yet. Look at how you right around the corner. You live right next door. At least he put the coat on it so it should be warm. Yeah, see? He's a gentleman. Imagine waking up to the slow. Go. Oh. Yeah, that would, uh, I'd be so confused and freaked out. She's checking her to make sure it's not her. Might even pass out crying. Who knows? I'd just go back to sleep. Why would she pick up the meat cleaver? Yeah, that's that's kind of strange to me because you hear I mean you hear the person screaming in distress. Oh, uh, Oh, she thinks her baby's dead with the dog's blood. Nope. Going after her. She would have whooped her ass if she didn't have that damn meat cleaver. It's a good thing she did have it for her. The movie would have been over right here. Mm. Oh. Bad so can, you, can you turn that down just a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, that was bad timing. 
Oh, I remember the TVs on the floor. Mm-hmm. They have TVs on the floor, TV on top of that TV. A lot of TV doesn't work. It's just a TV stand. Uh-huh. Or a TV. <laughs> oh, man. The 90s. The, you know what I like about this? Um, the graffiti is pretty damn cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's got some tunes around, boy. Bloody ones. Yeah, look at that. So many. Well, I mean, there's only two pair, but hard nipples in this movie. Well, we have the first are hard, right? They look like they are. Do you see the nip nips? No, I'm talking about hard. I'm talking about the push ups, sir. Oh, yeah. Or the both side boob action. Yep. Bloody side boob, bloody nipple, bloody bra. Good time. <laughs> that dude had a nasty ass fart if she came out looking like that. <laughs> <It'd be dookie. laughs> yeah, we're going back to that. Holy shit. Should they get bucket naked? Bucket naked. <laughs> It'd be funny if Candy Man said open your mouth nigga to one of the people he killed. <laughs> Mouth, nigga. <laughs> did this movie? Did this used to scare you as a kid? This movie, or do you remember? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it scared me. I remember uh, this girl that lived a couple doors down. Um, she went to go see it, um, and. Uh, she was saying how when she got home, she turned every every light on in the house that had the mirror in it. Every room had a mirror in it. I don't blame her. Oh, man. That, you know what? That's one thing I miss about being a kid, besides not having to pay rent, you know, all that stuff. But uh, watching those kind of movies, like watching horror movies that really scared you or just shook you up some, and your imagination plays all those tricks on you. Yep. I kind of miss that. I do and I don't because I don't want to be a grown man watching something like this and being scared, waking waking my wife up because I'm scared. <laughs> you hear that? Can you imagine that shit? Let's go check it out. You know how mad she would be, yo? Just imagine if me and you, like, we went to Scary Con, we're watching, um, what the fuck were we watching? Just say we were watching Candyman out there and she falls asleep. Our drunk asses wake her up because we're scared. <laughs> yo, I think I heard something, but it was just Jason Lively banging on the door. Yep. She'd be like, I'm never doing this. She would, she would never go to a con with us again. Yo, dude was out getting some strange while his wife was in the hospital or in the fucking lockup. Jail. Yep. DOC. Three in the morning. He was getting some strange. Look, it was fucking cornball. Broke ass Kevin Spacey looking ass. Oh, yeah, so. This was a um, <coughs> trying to get some more content for these peeps. I really enjoyed this movie. I really love this movie. Um, what do you expect from the new one? What do you want from the new one? That's what I meant to say. What do I want from the new one? Yeah. Um, like, do you, all right, let me rephrase that. Cause that's like a vague question. If that's using the word correctly. What like, um, as far as these movies connecting, I know you wanted to, you wanted to connect with the original. Yeah. And it, it will, if, if the uh, the main character is indeed Baby Anthony, which they haven't, it hasn't been confirmed. But I feel like it's gonna be more or less. It, it has been because the uh, the woman that plays the mom in this one is in the trailer for the new one. Yeah. So he had. Yeah. 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 And she says to him, "He just wanted you to be another one of his terrible stories." He was like, "Well, I guess he found me." Yeah. So, and then you get the, the one the one scene um, 
where he's looking at his reflection in the car and mm -hmm. it doesn't look like it doesn't look like him. I yeah, think, I think it's Candyman's gonna, reflection, I think. I think he's going to see Candyman in his reflection. Although I don't appreciate the he's wearing a yellow jacket. Or Kelly Pete on it. That's why it's yellow. Well, he's fucking dehydrated. Pete. We're not, we, he's just how he is. Jack is really yellow. You know? R. Kelly's not a good guy. He pees on everything and everyone. That's why all the plants in his backyard are dead. You're probably right. This is on him. <laughs> Yo, I still can't believe I looked back at the green screen like I was going to be able to see the hook better. Were you disappointed when it wasn't there? I just laughed at myself. I was like, oh, so silly. See, I got the skeleton over there chilling with the man. Yep. Because that skeleton, like, when I set it up, as you, you have one too, it falls all over the damn place. Like, it's drunk all the damn time, so. Heavy. She's in there taking a bath. Here's another part that would have been funny if she farted in the tub. Had the blood, like when he goes in to kiss her, she farted. <laughs> right there. Because it could have been a fart or a queef. We don't know. Oh, man. I hate farting Like when I'm taking a shower. It smells so bad, yo. The heat. I get, yo. But why does this, what? It doesn't have to be hot, though. I've jumped, like when we used to go swimming at Marcus's, I swam in the pool and swimming around and farted in the pool. Bubbles came up, pop, smelled so bad. <laughs> it was just, it's, oh my goodness. Then she looks at him, see, see how she's giving that serious look? She just farted and she's embarrassed. And he's disgusted. That's why he cheated on her. Yeah, because she's always farting in the tub. He gets his, though. Oh, yeah. He wanted it, though. Fucking Trevor. Even his name is fucking stupid. Oh, oh, Ariola. Shit, shit. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh. Perfect. I'm over here smiling, staring at it. <laughs> <coughs> um. The caramel areolas. A little butterscotch. <laughs> Did you notice I put these glasses on? Yeah. All right, just making sure. They're red. Like, Every, like I'm looking at the light right now. It's not very bright in my eyes anymore, and it's red. Right on, Cyclops. Cyclops has one eye. I'm Nigclops. <laughs> You're Black Ops. <laughs> black, black Clops? <laughs> yeah, Clops. I said Black Ops. <laughs> yeah, if I take these off, I don't shoot lasers out of my eyes. I just fart. <laughs> <laughs> just get tired. Calling to work. Oh, yeah, I might call in tomorrow. Oh, so I don't have to work tomorrow. I'm going to drop Ryan off at school. He's going to <laughs> That'd be some shit. Drop him off at the teacher's house. <laughs> like, just because you home, nobody will be to be teaching. And his teacher for last year, <laughs> she lives a couple doors down. There you go. He's ringing with the school there. <laughs> Makes sense. That's a nasty ass toilet. Oh, this part, this part here is dope. Where she's looking through the uh, projector. Yeah, and then she's, sister, she's zoom, has the zoom, and you see Candyman. And that dirty ass mirror reflection. You can see like a shoulder. Right there. No, she gets the zoom better. She can see him clear. It's clear as day. Bump. There we go. Oh, I scream like a bitch. Take <laughs> <laughs> the thing over and just run out the house crying. Oh, uh, Lord. I don't know what I would do. I'd probably shit on myself. You just drink some fucking tea. Oh, this, the, the chamomile always calms you down. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't trust old white people, old white women with, with tea anymore. I wouldn't. Nope. So when they sit down and start stirring that shit, leave. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. 
<laughs> Hit that little last spoon. Because <laughs> <laughs> I tell you right now, you get into that where you feel like you're sinking in a chair. I'm shitting in that chair. You're gonna be mad. I always piss my pants. This nasty ass motherfucker. She's in like that daze again, kind of. Yeah. Oh, this is the part where he kills Bernadette, isn't it? Yeah. Yep, yep. Because she tells her not to come in there once he... Um, go away! Is. Yeah, that ain't gonna make him go away. You can't, you can't tell somebody to go away when you called them. Right, that's fucking rude, Helen. Yeah, always think about your damn self, Helen. These days when he shows up, it would be a dildo on that end instead of a hook. <laughs> That's a whole different type of candy, man. A dildo at the end of the hook. Just picks him up like this. Ooh. Yeah. You didn't even look, but you knew. See. What is that knife going to do against that hook? Nothing. Not a damn thing. Damn, I had a camera light right here in my face. This guy. How old um, will Rylan have to be before you show him this movie? This one right here? Yeah, Candyman. Uh, you know I don't know. Double digits at least? Yeah. Ten? I don't know. I mean... Like he'll watch The Walking Dead with me. Mm -hmm. That's like the extent of it. Like he knows who like Jason and Freddy. He knows who they are just because of like pictures and stuff. Like he's never seen any of the movies or nothing. Well, yeah, I know, I know that. In the game, he knows because the game. But yeah, you know what's funny is um I remember we were at uh, it was me. I want to say it was me, Francis, and Mia. We were at Crossgates, and we were in GameStop. We we're just walking around, or whatever. And I was playing that the Friday the Thirteenth case. I was like, Mia, who's that? She was like, Uncle Aaron. She's like. That game's inappropriate for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she did. She had to Jason, but that, that game's inappropriate for me. I was okay. I was like, oh my goodness, this girl. Yeah. Oh, this is the part where she's... Bernadette should have just left. Yep. Like, you know what? So she's getting some pipe. I should leave. So like came in and just slammed the door. See, she knows what she's looking at. Yep. That hook. The nails. Uh, you know, the hook, look, I mean, as far as, like, the hook looks good for this in this movie, I mean. Yeah. Like, it looks really good in this movie. They did a really good job with it. Did you notice Candyman standing over here? Right there? Oh, yeah. I just put that, well, it's been there the whole time, but I just put that yeah. in the video. He's like, he's like, this bitch is crazy. Yeah. The dead black woman in the front of our house, and you're over here passed out. He's over it. She just got injected with botulism. <laughs> or R. Kelly's pee, so she, she can't get the coronavirus now. He was just trying to save us. Those those girls in the videos, that was like a trial run. So they they won't get it? Yeah, no, they're good. Oh. That that's a gruesome scene. That's a really gruesome, gory yeah. scene. But she turn but she turned when her skin turned um a color that fast though? You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, I wouldn't think so, but I mean it's the nineties. I know they look at all those bees. It's not organic honey. Yeah, I love honey uh, and some tea. Mmm, uh, mmm. But yeah, um, that was yeah. a real graphic gory, huh? The the, the character. The main character in the sequel is going to be obsessed with them, kind of like how she is. Okay. I wonder if, if um, or no, never mind, never mind, never mind, because he's too—he was a baby then. Sorry. 
I was gonna excuse me. I was thinking that he was the for a quick second. I was thinking he was the other kid, the older kid, Jake. Yeah. And I was thinking, what if he had flashbacks? But he was a baby, so that can't happen. Yeah. And then there's this part where um, he he Candyman he has honey on his finger. And he gives it to the baby. I think it's this part right here. Mm-hmm. He, I wonder. I'm wondering if that if that affects him later hmm. on in life. You know what I mean? That's that's an interesting take. That I as a matter of fact, I kind of hope it does. Like I hope that they tie that into it somehow. Yeah, because that yeah. would be that would be something that's like real, um, real subtle. Because nobody really like you mentioning that. Nobody really thinks of that just from you know watching the movie or say watching the re- the sequel, the spiritual sequel to it. Yeah, so I imagine waking up and seeing that fucking bald headed face every damn day. Uh-huh. Hand off me, nigga. What are you doing? I don't even know you. Trevor? They got her in some damn zip ties. Yeah, you ain't get out of a zip tie. Mm-hmm. He knew it. He's like, yeah, this is my out. He knew she wasn't going to get out. Yeah. He thought she wasn't going to get out. Yeah, yeah. And then, so he goes, expecting oh, not at all. Fucking. Whatever that little floozy's name is. I don't remember her name. She was a little floozy. Oh, fucking hooker. Sound her poon trap. <laughs> her poon trap? <laughs> this was a good scene, too, when she's strapped to the bed and Candyman comes up. Mm-hmm. Why do you have to hide under the bed, though? Couldn't he just, like, just disappear? <laughs> you know what I mean? He could have. But. You know, a couple of scenes later, grab, grab a titty. they see all or they don't see all this in the cameras. Remember the security cameras? They're talking to herself. Yeah, they'd freak it out. Because I thought that too for a second. Like, as a matter of fact, I haven't seen this movie in like a couple of years, so just. This scene right here, I forgot. I was thinking, I was like, didn't he kill these two? Like, when they go in there and run in there? Yeah. No, 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 no. No, he but, kills the uh, therapist. Yeah. When, once she got in that room and was talking to the therapist, I was like, okay, this is where he kills again. I remembered then. I just forgot for a minute. Yeah. I mean, he's only killed, he only kills, like... That's how he killed this movie. Yeah, the dog and the... Bernadette, and then that dude. That's it. And Helen. Well, uh, no, technically she dies in the fire. Yeah, say indirectly. That's where he has the baby, a little bit of honey. Yeah. That I I hope that does tie into the new movie, especially because just looking just looking at it from right there, it seems like it should have been something in the sequel. You know what I mean? Like how they just showed, how they made sure you've seen that. And then it went from that to her being in there. Uh (laughs) I had to. The orderlies are helping her up now. Virginia Madison. That's her real name. Say that again. Virginia Madison. Virginia Madison, you did an excellent job in the original Candyman. Let's hope you do it again. Let's hope you do it again. That was beautiful. That was my my hit single. It's called Virginia Madison. I don't remember any of the words to it, so don't ask me to repeat it. A one-time performance. Yep, one time only. That's how we do things around here, Dr. Burke. Dr. Dookie. This was a this was a cool scene too. The kill. Yeah. Oh shit. Get hold. You been hold. Me or you? you? Whatever, nigga.
going through all. See this part right here. Those, those, look at them little ass TVs, yo. Those four TVs are the size of like a one thirteen inch TV. Yeah. It's like so remember that, the um, huh? That was top, you know, top notch technology back then. You're right. Same word. Yo, you know what's crazy though? Those security cameras. I mean. They're actually good. <laughs> They're better than the trash ass ones they have now. If you think about it, look, look how clear the picture is when he turns these TVs on compared to what these shits are now. That's a picture of someone stealing a car and they're like, you see this person? Like, you don't even see the person. How am I supposed to see it? Word. Like, I, I don't know who that is. I was thinking his candy man was going to come up sooner after she said his name five times. Like how many times does she have to call him? Again, you know, niggas when they're doing shit, they don't want to be getting up and moving around. Right now, he's probably chilling, eating some nice barbecue ribs. Just pour that nice, fresh, cold glass of Kool Aid, of that sweet cornbread, and his bitch comes calling him again. He's like, "God damn it!" Flip the plate over. Get the fuck. Yeah. Like I did with that. Sorry, we playing sorry. You should have. I should have. Yeah. You said I you didn't market because you're going to pick up all the pieces. Yeah. <laughs> That's like 12 of those little fucking things. Fuck that. Yeah, you seen how clear it was? I mean, I know it wasn't in color, but it was very clear. Like, you could clearly tell it's her. Obviously. I think at this point, this point right here is when he really is wondering if she's crazy or not. Yeah, he's like, oh, this is Yeah, of course, it comes back. And then, then that's when she's like, okay. Hmm? What'd you say? I said, and then this is the part where she, this is also the part where she realizes that she's not crazy in Candyman Israel. It, it, it takes a while, man, you know. I'm not going to find out if he's real or not. I'm, like I said, 34 years old, haven't said it once. No need to say. I don't need to bring that kind of negativity in my life, especially with this coronavirus going on. I start now. Exactly. Do you hope there's more kills in the new one, like more than three kills, or do you hope it's kind of similar to this, but it's like only say two to three kills for next? I mean, for me, with with this story, it's more about telling the story. Than it is about the kills. Yeah, I agree. I do agree. Yeah, you're right. Part of me does wish, hope that there's a couple more kills in it, though. But yeah. I hope here's okay. I'll say it like this: I hope there's a couple more kills in it. But I hope that those kills don't overshadow the story. Yeah, because it, it's not your your typical slasher where you know. Yeah, where you're watching it for the like. Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, those seven movies terrify. You're watching it for the kills. And then, then, yeah, and then this one, that's just a part of the story. Mm -hmm. Not not the story. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that fucking jacket. Blood, mad blood. There should be more, though. He's really violent. He must pay at at crazy amounts to get that jacket clean. Oh yeah. Or he just fucking take that shit off and throw. It. No one's gonna tell him no. Just drops it off. I'll be back. Yep. Because he could do that hypnotizing shit like he did to her all the damn time. So he could do that to anybody. Wash my jacket. <laughs> Cook me some grits. <laughs> Cut my hair. Oh, fuck that. Afraid of heights. Oh, oh you think she, oh, you know she's not wearing any underwear? The fucking wind kicks up. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, man. So that that, that would have been your out. Candy man would let you get out to so go do what you got to do, and you'd be like, nah, I can't go out that way. I'm scared of heights. <laughs> I'm with you, though. I'm terrible. I'm uh, fuck that. And it's narrow too. I don't know how could I have done that? 
Mm-hmm. She was smart, though. Oh, hell yeah. Knew what key to use and everything. Well, no, she switched it. She had to go to a different one. Ran right past her. Took off. Well, there's a cam. Oh, I thought there was a camera in there. I, d- I hate when I do that, yo. And for the listeners and the people that are going to be watching this YouTube video, I do this a lot. I just watched this movie earlier today, and I fucking forgot mad shit again. My memory is so bad. <laughs> but it's not like it's the first time I've seen the movie tonight. Oh, here's the part where she goes into the room to her house. 957. Apartment 957. Or condo 957, actually, because they switched into condos now. Put the yeah. plaque over the brick wall. The door was wide open. Yeah, it was. That's weird. <laughs> he wanted to get caught. Yeah. Pink? The whole fucking... No, fuck, fuck you. Your big-ass nipples. You knew that was her idea. And he yeah. was like, oh, yeah, we could do pink. It'll be cool. He talked... She Well, no, the conversation went like this. Hey, sweetie. Me and my nipples on pink the whole house pink. <laughs> Me and my nipples. Yeah, and she was like, he said, no, I don't think I want to do that. And she was like, come on. And she flashed him her nipples, and he said, yeah, he got hypnotized by the nips. He got <laughs> hypnotized. Now the room's pink. Uh, got him. <laughs> he came out here all happy. Yeah, that's too much pink. Maybe one wall. They don't even finish one room before they start the next. Like, yeah, who paints like that? Yeah, that wall, well, that room's all finished. But oh, he's here, right? Fucking terrible. This girl can't do nothing right. Mm mm. <laughs> oh, I love that line. What you say? I have it on mute. What line do you love? She said, "What's the matter, Trevor? Are you scared of something?" That's what she says right before she kills him at the end. Yes, I remember that. That was a gory, gory kill, too. A lot of blood. I loved it. Threw the whole bucket of paint up against the wall. She should. She, yo, she should have dumped that paint on her. On the girl. <laughs> or just threw the, the, the can at her. Threw the bucket of paint at her? Yep. That's how you send a message. <laughs> With the cap on? Fart. 20 minutes of this movie is left 23 this is um, you think this is one of the better This? do you think this is the best black horror movie as far as like a black lead because of Candyman or do you think or is it too t- you know what I'll say for this for this for that generation for that era the 90s but yeah, this didn't have that many Definitely stands out. It does. But also, you, get, you gotta remember, like, both of us, we didn't see these movies as they came out, like we are with, you know. Mm-hmm. A lot of ones that we've seen nowadays. No, I get what you mean. Like, we weren't old enough to see it, and we weren't old enough to understand it. We just, like, when we watched, when I watched this movie as a kid, I just watched it as Candyman. I mean, as far as, like, blood and kill, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't watch it to watch the story. I watched it because Candyman. I watched it because I heard like Zach Jazzy, Jeff, all them talking about Candyman and saying Candyman in the mirror. So I was like, Oh, I want to see what this is about. Then you see what happens. When people say Candyman in the mirror. So I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that. Fuck that. <laughs> you watch it as an adult and you see, um, there's so much more to it than just, you know, the guy with the hook coming out of the mirror, killing people. Yeah. It's so much deeper. And it's, I love that about it. Like, I'm, I'm really, really, really starting to enjoy those type of horror movies where there's more of, like, a, a story to it. I can't give you any examples. But, um... <laughs> but, no, like, when, when 
don't get me wrong. I love my slashes. Those are my favorites. I love the gore, you know, the silly shit. I love the gory, crazy shit. But I like how, I like when there's a mix in it too. I like when there's a good story to it, and some blood, yeah. you know, some blood here and there. It, it gives it a uh, more rewatch, rewatchable value. I could see that. I'll say for nowadays because I can always go back and watch the '80s slashers easily. Like I can fucking turn that on right after this movie's over. Right? Well, if I wasn't too tired, you know what I mean. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. You're right. It's a lot, a lot more to it. Makes you think more. I'm shining a damn light in her eyes. She's going back in there again. Oh, this is when she goes to get the baby. And then. I always thought the mom said Anferny. Anferny? Yeah. <laughs> Anferny. You know, it's Anthony. Just regular ass Anthony. Yeah, regular ass Anthony. Nigga name Anthony. That's it. Tony. Call him Tony. Good. He probably goes by Tony in the, the sequel. Or T Dog. T Loke. He seemed more. Um, he didn't seem real like. Well, you can't really tell from the trailer. I gotta watch it again anyway. I was gonna say he seemed too ghetto, ghetto though to go by like a T Loke or T Dog. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's another connection with this one and the the sequel. You know, uh, Candyman Daniel Robitaille when he was alive was a painter, mm-hmm. and the uh, Anthony in the sequel is a painter. Okay. Nice. So we'll see if that, you know, that comes into play at all. I hope so. I like how they have those small connections, though, like that right there. What you just mentioned. Oh, she has a hook in her hand. Yeah, but my... See, one thing I did, I noticed in the uh, the trailer yeah. for the sequel, um, somebody hands Anthony the, a hook. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's the hook. I think it's just a hook because Helen's bi- Helen's buried with that hook. So that would mean digs it up. Yeah, someone would have to dig it up. But it has to be someone that's from back in that time, you know what I mean that excuse me, that knew about it. Right, exactly. Which isn't impossible. I mean, they could tie it in there somehow. Like the hook is haunted or or something, you know. Yeah, or I mean well, I mean, as far as like who would be alive still, I don't think um, Anthony's mother would do it. But remember when Helen dies? Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Helen gets she she gets the uh, a lot of respect in the hood. All the oh. hood came to her funeral. They were late. Why is he sleeping if he's dead? He's tired. He's just tired. <laughs> you sound real sympathetic. Think about it, man. Somebody just imagine people call. Well, you got kids, dad, 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 dad all day when you're home. Yeah. Okay. Sleep. I mean, I know you're alive, but same thing. They just stand in the mirror calling his name all the damn time. You got to get some time to sleep. If he's got a hook for a hand, how do you tie his shoes? They've been tied. Okay. Or one of his victims tied him before he killed him. Breathing. Dead people don't breathe. That little bullshit ass hug. The hug doesn't have any bodies. Mm-mm. The blood just squirted out for like a second and that's it. <laughs> Son of that chocolate spell again. See, you right over the brightest. the brightest. Yeah. I like that. Like Gary, you mentioned that earlier. Is he crying? Yeah, he was. He was listening to Drew Hill. <laughs> I don't think Drew Hill was out back in 92. Maybe from Luther Vandross. Frank Oak. Prince? Nah, he'd be listening to some of Mario's complexion. He'd be listening to Luther. <laughs> 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 he tripped, fucking dropped. <laughs> That's why you couldn't be in a movie like this. 
Holy shit. <laughs> Trip over. <laughs> oh, man. She got Tora up. See? Hook right in. That's why I call him Candyman. Give me some stink on that hook. <laughs> that's a big ass fish hook, if that's the case. You catch more than that shit. Fucking flounder. Redfish snapper. You know? So bees on her hand. I think he got stabbed, or not stabbed, stung 23 times and got, for each time he got stung, $23,000. Huh? Like this real bees in his mouth. Yeah, no, they had, he had something in his throat, like in the back of his mouth, I should say, so they wouldn't go down his throat. Yeah. Oh, God. That's fucking dedication right there. Like that's, that deserves an Oscar. Just for that scene right there, I don't give a damn what anybody says. I'm right, you're wrong. You gonna put a bunch of bees in your mouth for twenty three thousand dollars, Henry? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I could do it. She's shaking her clothes off because somebody farted on her. She wants to get that stink out. She got lice. <laughs> you think she's wearing that nurse's underwear too? Her? Yeah. No, nah, I don't think she took those off. I think she just had her own on. Or none. Reclaiming? Yeah, get some air. <laughs> Free clamming. About to be three o'clock in the morning here. Why? You know why. <laughs> it was always you, Helen. If people say that he that she's uh, the reincarnation of uh, the woman that he fell in love with. Ah, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Say that. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The painting on the wall. Now, how would you feel if they tied that into the spiritual sequel somehow? I mean, I'm, I'm all about as long as it makes sense. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But then again, we're talking about a movie where the guy comes to a mirror with the hook in his hand. So listen, listen, listen. We're not gonna... It doesn't make too much sense. <clears throat> you want it to be able to tie in right, though, and fit with, with the story. But you don't want to just throw it in here because it sounds cool. Right. If anyone is to do the sequel can, can do justice to this story and continue it. I think uh, Jordan Peele is that guy. You don't think Jermaine Jackson can do it? Nah. You don't have faith in Jermaine Henry? That's terrible. Nah. Not with that high top fade. Who's your uncle? How do you not have faith in your own uncle? A super S curl. You're jealous because you don't have that. I could have it. <laughs> That's the light That's the light oh, Uh-huh. My man sleeps with the hat on, jacket, and pants. Yeah, man. He's, he, you got to be ready to book it. You know, you don't know when it's going to go down. You got to take off. That's a lot of garbage over there. Could have just bounced. Oh, safe again. <laughs> I'm going to this bonfire real quick. There's, yo, there's mad shit in there. You ain't supposed to be burning rubber. <laughs> Bikes and shit. Good bike tire. This is why this is why they don't let black people have things because we don't know how to act. Oh. Yeah, you guys can have a bonfire. Just don't burn this, this, and this. And what do we burn? All that and then some. Yeah, and a and a baby. <laughs> hey, bye. Oh shit. And a baby. This was a cool scene though, like Another strong scene. Oh Dang yeah. This. Once it, once this movie takes off, it it's pretty relentless. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I'll say it again. No, go ahead. Can't pick all that shit off for free. Start grabbing some stuff. 
Yeah, they they spent money on that gasoline they poured on that motherfucker, man. That's true. Well, unless they stole it. Right with the, my blanket, like, nah, I'm coming right back in after this. <laughs> Cold, man. Cold. Well, the fire's gonna warm your ass up. Burn them. Shit. Them same people that are out there are the same ones that go to her funeral later. Every single one of them. I was there. I counted them. It's like 38, 40, 50. It's up there. 38, 40, 50. It's up there. <laughs> <laughs> That's Henry's counting for you guys. Mathematician. Yeah, 38, 40, 50. Look at that, Jerry Crow. You see that? Yeah. If it wasn't so much work, I would do it for like a day, a, a week. But it's just, it's too messy. It's too much work. Let's go my hair out again. I want to go. Like Reckless Reggie's brother. <laughs> Demon. <laughs> just like a shade or two lighter. I, I follow the dude on Twitter. Who would you look like with a Jerry Curl? I guess in the nineties. The Elder Barge. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! We can make a song. We can make a an album together. I don't know any of your songs, Elder Barge. I'm sorry. Hey, you do. Rhythm of the night. Oh, that's him. Yeah. It's just the rhythm of the night. <laughs> <laughs> That was a woman singing that shit. Well, what the hell did he do? He sang. Oh, that's nice his bald head. That looks fire. like <laughs> the huh? Cynthia Rugrats. I was going to say the same thing. She looks like <laughs> Cynthia from the freaking Rugrats. Shit. That's where they got that look from. That's funny to me. Take me there. I want to go there. See, she saved they have to have a connection. I, I definitely think she's going to try and save him or, or warn him or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, is she going to be, she, she, she has to be dead though, right? Wow. <laughs> stutter. Yes, she has to be dead. But you know what I mean? Like, I, I hope they don't make her alive for some weird reason is what I mean. There's no way. But go, yeah, well, R. Kelly peed on her grave. She came back to life. Doing the thriller dance. Yeah. That's a big ass fire. Yeah, because I was watching this part. Yeah, see she's got she has the uh the halo of uh, flowers on her head. And in the uh in the trailer in that church, if you look, you can see a woman sitting in white, bald all fucked up looking with a, a halo of flowers wow. on Nice. I'm at, I gotta re- revisit that trailer again. I'll yeah. Keep, I still need to do that review on it. Like, if you find, like, a good breakdown video or someone, like, pauses it right at that point. But, yeah, that's... That's what you did? I, yeah, yeah. Find a breakdown video, I mean? Yeah. If I can find the exact one, I'll send you it. Okay. Post it in the group. That bitch had some nerve coming to her funeral. Yeah, I know. For them, for them, for them coming, there's only been four people at her damn funeral. Five people. Oh no, the other guy. Yeah. Oh, there's so many lights came back there. Finally. Where? Well, you missed. Right, right, right oh. there. In the front, kind of. He walked off to the side with his hat. Think he's too pretty for the damn camera. That's what's wrong with you guys. I ain't gonna be in this movie. <laughs> he's, like, he's, yo, he's not. He's literally gone now. Where'd he go? Drops that hook in there. You know what's crazy about this part? I mean, well, they're probably scared to question it. But he drops the hook in there. Nobody even questions like why he did that. Yeah. I mean, I, I, let me rephrase. Like her husband, ex-husband, or anybody else. You know, the four people that were there in the beginning 
Like, what are you doing? Why'd you do that? Better go in there and get that shit. But then I'm thinking, you know what? They're like, you know what? That's a bunch of niggas over there. I ain't saying shit. Let them do you what know, they want to do. One of them's got a knife. Well, all of them niggas got a knife and a gun. There it is. Yep, now he's feeling so bad. He's hurting now. Now he misses his wife. Now oh. she's dead. Now he cares. There's her nipples. I'm not at that part. I rewound it. You rewound it? Yeah. To, to uh, the part where it showed her in the coffin. Oh, okay. Man, this bitch fucking flings the door open. She ain't got no damn for, real? for nothing. <laughs> and throws, not only that, then she throws the, the plate with the meat on the fucking thing on the counter. She's terrible. Look at those. Why is she hiding two lemons in her shirt? Two lemons? Two lemon heads. <laughs> now he's crying on the toilet. Getting ready to start. He's tearing up on the toilet. Because he's cold. He's, that's why he's he's up. Uh, I don't think it's. I don't think he's shitting. I think he's just sitting there with the seat down, chilling. No cover on that meat. No seasoning. Nothing. Yep. Bland ass food. Yep. That's yep. that's why he's crying because he knew he's like, damn. He's like, I gotta. He had he had the love of his life that put seasoning on her food. She just cut the meat up and throwing it. Didn't even cook it. Come on. <laughs> she put it in the salad bowl. No, no, she's through it. <coughs> okay. Now he's about to call Helen and get himself killed. Crying in the damn mirror. Bitch. Yeah. Goddamn bitch. This part was cool too, though. This part was good. I like how it ended with him coming in. Dying like that with her killing him. And then, what's on her head? What do you mean? On Helen's head. That's just like her burnt scalp. Uh, it's just how it looked back in the day. Yeah. I thought it was one of those fucking, um, oh, what the hell do you call it? Like one of them fancy tablecloth things women like. I don't know. That's what it looks like. Okay. She's screaming, screaming, screaming. She didn't run out their damn room. She didn't call 911 or else she'd just stand there screaming, holding the knife, screaming all loud. I would have ran. Probably shit, too. This was a good movie. Hell yeah. I'm going to have to, I got to rewatch this again a couple times, a few times. I'll probably watch it a couple times before I watch the, uh, the new one. Caesar Brown played the tough guy. In case you guys didn't know that. Again, Caesar Brown played the tough guy. Fuck is Caesar Brown. He played the tough guy, nigga. You don't listen. <laughs> I just told you. It was in the credits. It said Caesar <laughs> Brown tough guy. Xander. Xander? Yeah. Your people's probably. I don't know. Nah. Yeah, Ted Ramey right there. I don't see yeah. it. He had already passed. Baxter Harris. Remember him? He's a good guy. You think so? Oh, well, that's it. There's Helen on fire. That was, uh, yeah. It makes me want to see the uh, spiritual um, sequel more now. Around the corner. June 3rd. Well, let's hope this fucking shit is done. Yeah, and if not, at least release it. Well, speaking of which, I guess I'm not sure which um movie platform thing, whatever you want to call it. But uh, one of them is oh, Francis was just telling me about it the other day. 20 bucks. Can you hear me? It's twenty bucks, and you can um, rent movies from home, like okay. in theaters. 
It's one movie though for twenty dollars. I don't remember. I don't remember what the whole thing was, but it's because I'm being dead serious too. Because the coronavirus thing. It's two movies. Oh, it's two movies for twenty. Yeah, no, it's two movies that you can you can rent. What two movies is it? Uh, the Hunt. Okay. And, and um, um. Oh, she did say it. The Hunt and something else. She wanted to see both of them. I forgot. Yeah, I forget. But that's cool. I mean, that's a cool option. I feel if, especially with this going on, like I hope it's not going on for too long. But say it does, say shit hits the fan and go. It's going on in June or whatever. And not even, not even that though. Would you, if that was an option? I'll say that. That's a better question. If that was an option, like from here on out to watch movies in theaters from home, but you know, you could just stream it from home, legally stream it from home, but you had to pay 20 bucks. Would you do it? Yeah. Depending on the movie. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You get, say you get the movie for 24 hours. One, but you only get to watch it one time. Just like if you go to the movies, you only get to watch that one time. I would yeah, do that. Definitely. I was talking about the other day with France themselves. Like I was like, "Damn, twenty dollars! That kind of sucks." Da, 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 da. But then I'm like, you know what? If you go to the movies, I mean, we can go to Rotterdam and pay five bucks a piece. So that's ten bucks. But then you gotta get popcorn and soda. So you're spending. Yes. But if, if I'm saying most people go to you know like say Crossgates and all that shit, you're spending more than twenty dollars if you and your wife go to the movies, <laughs> just on the tickets. Oh yeah, you get tickets, yeah, fucking soda. Popcorn. Yeah, candy. Yep. All that shit. So, yeah, I guess it would be worth it. If, if it's a movie you really want to see. Yeah, if it's something I can wait, I'll just, I'll just wait a couple of days and stream it. You know, stream it. The quality wouldn't be as good, but. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. But I think that that, would, that wouldn't be a bad thing. I think it would be kind of a cool thing. I know some people like going to the movies and the movie experience, but honestly, if I can, if I can do it from home, and I'm not saying with the whole fire stick thing, I'm saying if I could do it from home, if they had like a streaming thing where you can do it, I think that'd be awesome. For a, another movie. I don't know. Was it another horror type movie? I think so. Was it Invisible Man? That's what it was. Is it? Yeah, no, that's what that's really what it was. I heard that was pretty good too. Actually, I heard the Invisible Man. I was listening to um the Horror Squad podcast. It used to be Three Guys That Horror. Yeah. Anyways, I listened to their podcast the other day, and they did the Invisible Man, and they all said it was pretty good. But they they said it was like one of those movies. That it's a good movie, but it doesn't have rewatchability. Really, like. It's not something to go to rewatch. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, yeah. They're they're trying to like reboot the whole uh, Universal Monster Universe again. And you don't agree with it? You don't think they should? Nah. You know what though, I mean, I'm, <coughs> again, you know, I love remakes. I love horror movies in general, but you know, I'm I'm a sucker for remakes. But I just wish. I don't mind them coming out with remakes, but I think they really do need to just fucking come up with some new ideas because it's just like, it's getting old, it's getting stale. Just come up with some new shit for us to enjoy. Yeah, every now and then we get something original. Like yeah. The, uh, Insidious and... Um, I love those. The Conjuring series, I love those. Yeah, you know, so every now and then we get something. Something good. <sighs> Oh, I'm getting good. tired. We could wrap this up soon. Yeah. So, um, shit. I'm just gonna ask you then. Fuck it. I know you would rewatch this movie. I know you're gonna rewatch this movie. So there's no point in me even asking that. But out of one to one to ten, Candyman hooks. No, one to ten. How many jackets would you give this movie? One to ten jackets. He's talking to his wife, people. Give it nine. Nine jackets? Hmm. Wish it was more a little more blood. I'm gonna give it a eight and a half. And I will say say I wish there was more blood. Just because I love I'm a gore fucking hound, gore whore, whatever you want to call it. I love the gore in these movies. But again with the story, the story was so fucking great. See, I'm gonna give it a eight and a half. Showed nipples. But 
not nipples worth a ten. Close though. The ones in the in the tub, those were uh, those little butterscotch ones, you know. Yeah, yeah, you got a point, but you know, fun movie though, definitely a rewatch. Um, we're gonna be reviewing two and three eventually. We're definitely gonna be reviewing the new one, not right away though. Yeah, part two. Um, I think part two and part three are on um, uh, Amazon Prime Prime Video. Okay, cool. Yeah. And uh, well, we're about to wrap this one up. So, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. All that good stuff. And as always. See you in your nightmares. Be my victim.